Hey, welcome back. Today I'll be doing a review on the Holiday Wet n Wild brush collection. All the products talked about in this video and whatever's on my face will be linked down below, so check it out if you want to see what's on my face, um, the link to buy this brush set, and everything like that will be down below, as well as my Instagram handle, so check it out. Before I begin, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this and give me a big thumbs up if you want me to do more review videos. This is only available on Walgreens or walgreens.com as far as I'm aware, which is where I bought it. So this brush collection is limited edition. You get 10 brushes for $30. If you can find it on sale, it will be a much better value. Wet n Wild is a cruelty-free company. Not all of their products are vegan, but these brushes are vegan as all of them are synthetic bristles. So this is what the box looks like. It's got holographic packaging, it's packaged beautifully. You can see the brushes at the front here. And in the back, it gives you the names of all the brushes. Okay, so this is how they come packaged. Very nice um, display. The brushes are absolutely beautiful. The brushes themselves are not holographic, as you can see. They're just a nice silver. I'll be going brush by brush um, from left to right. So, I'm gonna talk about this one right here first. This is a dome pencil eye brush. So this is just your standard um, pencil brush. It is very, very compact, like more so than other pencil brushes I have. This is a much shorter, denser, fatter pencil brush, so it picks up a ton of pigment and places it right where you need it to. Obviously, this will not blend out that pigment. Um, you will need to go in with another brush to help blend out the pigment, but this will be a good brush to place it where you want it to be. The next brush is a tapered blending brush. This is what is most similar to a MAC 217 or any pinched uh, blending brush. These are amazing for getting precise color in the crease. Um, this can also help blend out color. This is for more of a precise application of crease shades, um, any lower lash line work that you want to fluff or blend out. Um, this brush is actually one of my favorites from this collection because it is small enough for hooded eyes uh, slash smaller eyes. So this is um, one of my favorites. The next brush is the flat contour brush. Now, I don't really use this a lot. Um, this is definitely one of my least favorite from this collection only because I don't really have a need for this. I like more of a fluffed out, blended out contour rather than a sharp line. However, this is actually perfect for that because it is decently fluffy as you can see. So it does blend out your contour so you can have a sharp but blended out contour. I can imagine this would actually be really perfect for cream contour as well. Um, I don't really cream contour. I'm not, I'm not that into contouring, but if you are, this is really, really nice. This can also help kind of um, sharpen out your contour. If you were to go in with uh, translucent powder right underneath, um, this would actually be perfect as well to get you that really sharp, crisp line. So this brush is the Precision Foundation Brush. You can see that it is kind of at an angle right here and it has a little um, well to put your foundation in. However, if you do that, this foundation will soak up all of the product, all of it, and none of it will end up in your face. So I recommend just applying the foundation to your face first or applying it on a palette rather than dropping it directly into the brush. It is decently dense. It's not as dense as I would like it to be. I like um, more denser brushes, but it is actually really pretty dense. Um, and it kind of really hugs and cups your face nicely because of the angle. It does blend out foundation really nicely. Um, it works well. It doesn't lift streaks unless you go a little too hard on it. But if you use kind of like feather light motions and really stipple, um, that's what I do to get the most coverage with my foundation brushes. I stipple it on my face. This will work out beautifully. So this is one of my favorites. This is the large powder brush. 
as you can see it is tapered um, right at the top nice and pointy so it gets right underneath your eye if you need it to um, it gets in any corner or in your nose and it is really nice and just fluffy a beautiful just fluffy powder brush so this is the precision setting brush this is also one of my favorites actually almost every single brush is my favorite but this brush is perfect perfect for getting right underneath your eye it's just it fits there beautifully I can set my under eyes um, stop them from creasing and you can see that it is also um, pointed so it does really adhere well to the under eye this will also work well for around your nose um, any smaller areas like your chin and your upper lip this will also fit very well so they market this as a blush brush but I don't use this for blush this is a amazing bronzer brush okay any bronzer that you thought was oh this isn't pigmented enough this is just a little too light for me that's what I thought with the butter bronzer until I used it with this brush this brush saved the day it applies bronzer so smoothly it's not patchy it picks up a lot of products and you blend it as you're applying it so it just kind of blends seamlessly into the skin looks like skin it doesn't cause anything to cake up or look extra dry it doesn't uh, move around your foundation underneath but this is one of my favorite bronzing brushes now this is a definite must so this is the tapered highlighting brush I quite like this for um, a light application of highlighter I like to use this with my Essence Pure Nude Highlighter right on my nose and my cupid's bow so I don't have um, too much product. This is great for if you like a more dispersed, lightly applied highlight. This will do all of the work for you. Um, no streakiness, no like unblended patchy mess. This is really good for applying a light wash of highlighter. So this next brush is actually like amazing. This is the fluffy blending brush and you can see it is a fluffy blending brush. It kind of comes to a point. Um, it is really nice and fluffy. It is decently dense unlike the past crease brush from Went Wild, the $1 one. Um, this is much better quality, has a lot more bristles, you can really tell. It blends out product amazingly, doesn't make it skip or become patchy, uh, works really well with powders. I have not used this with creams, but um, this is a really, really good brush. So the last brush is the Precision Flat Face Brush. And this is kind of like a multitasker brush for me. I like to use this for spot concealing. Um, if after my foundation there are still some spots that I see through, I'll apply some concealer. Use this to help blend it out and it blends seamlessly. It doesn't take away a lot of coverage. Um, it just takes it away enough so I can blend it really seamlessly into the skin. This brush is also perfect for kind of uh, eye primers if you have longer nails. Um, or you're using kind of like a um, paint pot, uh, this type of brush is perfect for that. Yeah, this brush really works well with cream products. Um, this works well with cream shadows, any type of cream product. But these have a ergonomic handle, as they say. This does fit in really nicely to your hand, so you can apply product however you like. So the only brush I really don't have a use for really is the contour brush. But other than that, this is a beautiful set. Since this is pointed, most of the weight is up top here. So it feels very unbalanced in your hand when you hold it like this. It kind of wants to topple. So be careful of that. Uh, if you put it on a surface somewhere and half of it is hanging off, it will topple over. There is a kind of an unbalanced weight to it. But I don't really mind. My brushes stay in my brush holder. So since this was $30 for 10 brushes, each brush comes up to $3, which I think is an amazing deal. 
They feel like they're extremely high quality. They're really well made. So I've already washed these brushes and they washed beautifully. You might be scared that the pigments in your makeup will stain the brushes, but I find that none of my brushes got stained. So I know I don't have an issue with staining with these brushes. Wet n Wild is a company that I really stand behind. I think they are really, really amazing. Um, they are cruelty free. They put out great products at a really great price, um, as you know. Some of the brands in the drugstore are just upping and upping and upping their prices and it's getting a little, a little much. Just, just, just a little much when you're paying $30 for an eyeshadow palette. Ah, from a drugstore brand. Hurts my soul. Hurts my soul. So this brush set is missing a shader brush and kind of a brow or liner brush. Um, I would have appreciated those, but I think I'm like very content with what I have. These are just additions to my collection, so I kind of like collecting from different types of brands so I can get um, a different feel for different products. So that wraps up my review for this Wet n Wild Pro brush set. All in all, I do recommend this. It is a really good value for your money. Wet n Wild is a really good brand. These brushes are made beautifully, so these are a big thumbs up for me. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, like this comment, and comment down below. Are you gonna purchase this brush set or not? Again, all the links to this brush set and anything that's on my face will be down below, so check it out, as well as my Instagram handle. Yeah, that's, that's about it. Okay, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, bye.